at his big old toad. He's been hanging out this whole time. I never saw him. I guess he's been here the whole time. We are inside of a conditioned storage unit. Pan is full of water. Our float switch was not quite at the cutoff point. This one has got water in it, but it still wasn't shutting off outside. Now, of course, our liquid line was real, real hot. So I think we need to investigate a little bit with the outside unit, but let's see if I can get you guys a better view in there. Oh yeah, that guy's clogged up pretty good. Let's go ahead and flush it all out and do all that stuff. Get this guy cleaned up. For the most part, everything seemed to be inside of a P-trap here, so let's take the cover off and flush it out with some water. Go ahead and toss in some of our pan tabs. We have about a half a gallon of water here. Let's go ahead and just throw some of it in there. Right, so you can take that. No problem. Let's inspect the coil. Make sure it's all right. And it's not the worst one I've seen, but it's not super great. Let's put this guy back together. understood why Goodman needs 15 screws to put one panel on. All right, now we gotta figure out how to take this water out of the pan. Just gonna have to do it the fun way with my shop vac. Hope it's got enough battery in it. One dot, eh. We will see. did the best that I could with it for right now. And that float switch, I think I'm gonna drop it down. For any of you guys that don't know, you can actually raise and lower the float switch using these nuts. And I'm gonna try to lower it so that the next time this happens, we don't get nearly as much water in this pan. Course you want to make sure it's tight too so that it doesn't uh you know just fall out oh yep she's full well the next thing i need to inspect is this motor this motor is red hot i want to make sure that it's amping okay there is no water anywhere near here so i need to see 
there is anything I can do to wash this guy out. It's not super dirty, but I guarantee you. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, now we're getting to some dirt over here. I gotta see what I can do with this guy. All right, we got us hooked up to the high side or the uh, line side of the condenser fan motor. Contactors pulled in. We're allowed to run 0.95 amps on the condenser fan motor. Just want to make sure that we're not over amping at all. Seem to be doing all right there, but uh, I'm actually really close to my shop. I got a little tiny battery powered uh, washer. I think I'm gonna go and grab that and just wash this guy out real quick. Just for fun, I'm gonna put some gauges on it and see what that head pressure looks like. Yeah, I guess our head pressure's not too, too bad. 370. Sure felt hot though. That motor, that motor, it sure does just feel hot. That coil's definitely dirty. I think I'm going to go and get that pressure washer and just give it a quick cleaning since there's no water out here. All right, we are back and I got the whole unit torn apart so I can get to this coil. 600 screws later just to get off two panels basically. But we have got whatever this stuff is, we have got it everywhere. So let's go ahead and fire up our machine and get going. junk out of there. Oh man, look at all that junk in there. Wow. I did not plan on doing this, but I am going to give it a really quick shower with this uh, chemical here. Not new just to kind of get anything that did get deep inside of it out. But as you can see, all this filth that's sitting here by my feet. Especially over here in the corners. While it's sitting there, I'm gonna wash this coil gun out. Gotta make sure that these guys are clean, otherwise they will not last. Of course, they, they won't last anyway, but if you just let some chemicals sit in there, they'll eat that plastic away in no time. But just sitting on there for just a little bit, but you can definitely tell all that stuff coming out of it. There really was a good bit of junk stuffed up in there. That's why it's important to clean these guys regularly. At least once a year, that's what I always try to tell people. I don't care if they do it themselves or if they want me to come out and do it. But you gotta keep your condensers clean, otherwise when it's 100 degrees outside, you will be paying a lot of money. And it's 4th of July weekend, or day before, it's the 3rd of July right now. People are paying a premium for me to come out can pretty much do this right now. Of course, I'm really lucky right now. I'm up under this cover here. Usually I'm out in the middle of the sun. Did one earlier today. 
I was out in the sun, not a single tree in sight, no clouds. Oh man, and it's projected to be about 98 degrees today. Of course, it's about three o'clock in the afternoon, 3.30. But I mean, it's still 96 degrees, maybe 95 even. 80 something percent humidity. That's what living in Florida is like, guys. This entire week is gonna be in the high 90s. It's, it is not gonna be a fun week. All right, we are all put back together. Went ahead and put up my Esmonds just to kind of get, get a little bit of surveillance, seeing if it improved the head pressure any. But we are ready to stick this motherfucker on. Let it rest for a little bit. In the meantime, I'm gonna pick up my stuff over here. I really wish I could clear out some of this water. It just kind of pools here, but uh, I ran out of water for my pump. So uh, I'm gonna let this settle in for a little bit and uh, just give it a give it a watch, see what happens. All right, well, she's been sitting here for about 10 minutes or so. Head pressure is about 350. That's kind of where it's leveled out a little bit. We're under a bit of a load. It's like 90 degrees in that warehouse still. But uh, let's see here. 101, 70. Saturation. I think we're looking pretty good. I'm just going to leave it here. Um, everything else is looking pretty good. But that's pretty much all my service calls have been the past couple of days has been just uh, dirty condenser coils and they just can't keep up, you know? Sometimes that's just the way it is. It's it's about 97 degrees outside past couple of weeks and 80%, uh, 90% humidity. And uh, people just don't maintain their stuff. They just, uh, they'd rather do it reactively, clean it whenever it's dirty and when it's causing problems rather than uh, cleaning it to prevent problems. But anyway, we're gonna leave it here and we will catch you in the next one.